if you have a child born in the UK, the parents are not citizens of the UK, and you want to travel, what to do? I am on a skill worker visa at the time, it was called a tier two visa. So naturally, the visa that my child would be getting is a dependent visa. So you want to make sure that you are clear as to what visa you are going to apply for. Subscribe, like, share, and comment, yo, yo. Yeah, let me tell you now. We are the rock dogs, bringing new blocks from the positivity in you. Yeah. Check in with us. We'll bring you fun, education, family, marriage clips, yeah, yeah. Stay tuned for the challenges, fame moves and travel. We got your back. Subscribe, like, share, and comment. Mr. God got you, yeah. We are the rock guns, yo. Like, share, and comment, yeah, yeah. We are the rock guns, the rock guns, Mr. Link the link, yo. Rock guns, rock guns. We are the rock guns. Hey guys, welcome back to the Positivity Inn right here with the Rabdans. I am your host, Mr. Rabdan, and this week we are going to be looking at what to do, how to apply for a visa. If you have a child born in the UK, parents are not citizens of the UK, and you want to travel, what to do? Let me just go ahead and just encourage you to like, share, and of course, um, subscribe to the channel help us to grow and reach as many people as possible because right here in this channel we look at family we look at homeschooling we look at life in the uk we look at anything that is related to our experience right in the uk and we believe that experience is the greatest teacher yeah experience teaches wisdom so when we share our experiences we believe that it will help you all right so i'm going to pause and allow you the like, share, subscribe, and then we continue to talk today. Subscribe, like, share, and comment, Mr. God got you, yeah. We are the rock guns, yo. Like, share, and comment, yeah, yeah. We are the rock guns, the rock guns, Mr. Link the link. All right, guys, thanks so much for doing us that huge favor. No, I just want to go ahead and just remind you that for, for those of you who might be joining us for the first time, that we are Jamaicans. I am a Jamaican teacher working in the UK. My family would be my dependent. And we have been living here for the last four, almost five years. And so last year, God has blessed us with a wonderful son, beautiful son, Danielle, you know, and wonderful addition. And um, it so happened that we have to be preparing to travel to Jamaica. So we want to share that experience so that you too will be able to do this should this be something you need to do. So just, just a bit of facts before I get into the process. When a baby is born in the UK to non-UK UK citizens, the process for applying for a visa for a baby involves several steps and we're going to go through the steps. So step one, you need to first determine visa requirement. All right. So to do this, if neither parent is a British citizen nor has settled status like indefinite leave to remain, like myself, your baby will need a visa, visa to stay inside of the UK and more so to travel out and actually return to the UK. All right, step two, you need to apply for a passport for your baby for your home from your home country embassies or consulate in the UK. For us, Jamaican, that would be the High Commission. And we have done a separate video to show you how to do this, all right? So typically, this involves providing the baby's birth certificate and proof of the parents' identities and nationalities, which means step three, and I should have said this before, right? You need to obtain your baby's birth certificate. To do this, you register the birth of your baby within 42 days at your local register office to obtain the birth certificate. And before you leave the hospital, of course, they will have brief you and give you the required the details and, and of course supporting documents that you would need to take um, for this. And and but, but typically this involves providing the baby's birth certificate and proof of the parents' identities and nationalities. All right, 
the fourth thing you will need to do is to choose the appropriate visa type. Now, this is very important. The type of visa you apply for will depend on the parent's current immigration status. All right. Um, for me, I am on a skill worker visa at the time, just called a tier two visa. So naturally, the visa that my child will be getting is a dependent visa. So you want to make sure that you are clear as to what visa you are going to apply for. My next tip is that you are going to prepare the application. All right, and that's just simply completing the application form, which I am going to demonstrate to you in short order how to actually get this done. Now, this might be done online, of course, or via paper form, uh, depending on the visa type. So you need to gather, first of all, the necessary documents, such as a baby's passport, baby's birth certificate, um, parents' passport, and visas, proof of relationship, which might be a marriage certificate, financial documents to prove you can support the baby with your public funds, proof of accommodation as well in the UK. And I'm saying this because we are applying as people who are already inside of the UK. Obviously, you will need to check what the requirement is when applying for a visa outside of the UK. But of course, make sure you have the money so you can pay the fees for the application. You're going to be paying friends for the application fee, the immigration health surcharge for the baby, which gives access to NHS. So because the baby is naturally born here, they're given um, an NHS number and they can already access, right? But because you are going out of the country and want to come back, they're going to treat the baby as such, all right? Um, so now it is what? Now is June and we are applying for ours. So they are going to calculate the surcharge from this point to um, to when our visa will expire, which is December. Funny it is that after I pay all this money, you know, if I was to renew visa again for my son in December, I'd have to pay all that money again. All right. Good God. All right. Cool. And of course, from there, you're going to sub submit your application submit the application online or at a visa application center all right biometric information photograph and fingerprints may be required for the baby depending on their age my baby is young so all he did was to take a picture and that's it all right um and and then the next process next step in the process is to wait for decision and the processing time for your visa can vary so it's important to apply well in advance of any travel plans and let me just say that when you're submitting the application you have to book an appointment to go to one of these biometric information center and you have to pay most times so when i went to their website it did say that you um you uh, if you apply if you check nine o'clock in the morning they normally free up some some free spots so when we went on, everything was costing 249 pound, 143 pound, upwards, north of those money. Um, and so we just logged on back in the morning and we found one that was zero pounds. So I'd advise you that when you're booking, make sure you look for the zero pound because, you know, we have to try to save the money. We can't give it away. All right. So after you wait for the decision, yeah, normally them send you an email. Um, yeah, we, we, after we apply for that, we we received an email confirming that we have received it. Congratulations, Mr. Daniel um, Roberts. You have been successful in getting your visa. And the next thing is that your visa will be posted to you. All right, so after you receive your visa, ensure, ensure to comply with any post approval requirement, such as reporting to local immigration office if required. So I just wanted to get that out of the way um so that you know the key steps in applying for your visa now what i'm going to do from this point is i'm going to just demonstrate quickly what the process look like and and then um you can take it from there all right so allow me to switch my screen okay so now we are going to demonstrate how you approach making this application first thing you need to do is to go to google just type visa application 
for child born in the UK because it will be something different for a child who is born outside of the UK. All right, you will see this come up, so you're going to click on this link. Now you'll need to scroll down and look for it. You see, this says apply as a child, but then this says you were born in the UK. All right, so you'll get the same permission to stay as your parent if you were born in the UK. You can either be added to your parents' next application as a dependent or apply separately. You must live with your parent in the UK unless you are living away from your home in full-time education, for example, a boarding school or university, not be married or in a civil partnership. If you are under 18, you will need to know what kind of permission to stay in the UK. All right. Da, da, da. So this is the one that we are going to be looking for. There's different one for people who are born outside of the UK. So we'll need to find that link that allows us to apply from the UK because we are in the UK. Okay. And we are choosing to do the one online. So obviously you're going to click on this. All right. And then you'll see a bit more information which you can read for yourself. You can apply to remain in the UK as a family member, partner, and child of A, and it will tell you all of that. And of course, this is you're applying as a parent, if you're applying for the parent. In my case, I applied um, basically as a parent for the child. So once you have done that, you're going to click on this thing that says apply now. It's going to ask you a bit of information. Are you currently in the UK? Obviously, to qualify for this, you need to indicate yes. All right, you're going to move on from there. It's going to tell you um, other home office application. Do you currently have an application with the home office to leave? In which uh, we don't, so we're just going to put no. All right. And then, of course, the basis of your application. And then they'll have another question. They'll say, um, your relationship or private life is the basis of your application to remain in the UK. What is your relationship to the person you're applying to to remain with the UK? And of course, that would have been parent because the child is applying to remain with me. All right. And then, you know, you keep going. All right. When you get here, it's going to ask you to create an account, obviously. And um, you're going to enter your email address in then they are going to send you a link that they are going to use to verify once you verify that yeah it's going to take you to the application and you're going to fill in all of your personal details in there um along the journey once you've completed the application the next step is for you to pay the surcharge they're going to provide you a link to pay the surcharge once you enter the details it will tell you what the surcharge is they will also return to you an ihs number which you are going to use to enter in your application. Once you have done that, it's going to allow you now to go to choose the um to choose the the appointment. And like I said, when choosing the appointment, um they have paid and unpaid. So ideally, it's important to try and look 28 days down um based on the advice that comes from their website, right? Um, but if you if you but if you get on there early, like about 9 a.m. in the morning, you'll be able to find some that are zero pounds, and that's the one we want to go for because we are not trying to spend more money, we are trying to save money, and this visa process is very expensive. All right. So once that's done, right, um, it will provide you a checklist of documents that you need to upload. All right. Um, typically. This is going to include financial documents, parents' birth certificate, child visa, uh, parents' passport, rather, or parents' um, BRP, whatever it is that they require. And you're going to upload, scan and upload. You also will need to do a permission letter for the child, both parents, um, sign it and then upload it. Once you have done all of that, all right, you are going to submit your application and just go to your appointment hopefully this video was helpful for you all right we do we do want to provide more content like this to help and support our community so remember to like share and subscribe all right thank you have a good day
We got your back. Subscribe, like, share, and comment. Mr. God got you. Yeah. We are the rock guns. Yo. Like, share, and comment. Yeah. Yeah. We are the rock guns. The rock guns. Mr. Link the link. Yo.